Welcome to another episode here at Deep Mountain Security. Today I want to go over a utility that you can use to kind of troubleshoot your computer when it's uh, starting up slow. Um, and this can also be helpful, you know, if you've got malware that might be slowing down your computer, then you can go ahead and try and figure it out. So anyways, and I'll post a link to this uh, down below. Um, we've got a so Windows has come out and Microsoft Microsoft's come out with something called the Windows Performance Analyzer. And that's in this little ADK uh, setup file that we've got here. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. Um, but so what Performance Analyzer is, is it allows you to go through and kind of record different parts of your computer and how things work. Um, and then, um, so what it does is it's going to, um, uh, do a bunch of different things and let's see here what do we want um probably don't need all of these so you can probably turn some of these off um because the only one we want um is the windows performance toolkit which contains the windows performance recorder and analyzer um and then we probably don't need anything else so this really isn't going to take that long to get. Um, but anyways, so what Performance Analyzer does is it kind of goes through and it records. So you have the Performance Analyzer and the Performance Recorder. And so these are kind of like two different little things. And so the recorder is going to record stuff into a file that you can then open up in the analyzing tool. Um, so relatively simple, relatively easy. You tell it what you want it to record and then press go and it'll do its thing and try and record stuff and then you can go and open it up in the analyzer and get some really cool data and statistics about your computer which processes and services are bogging it down you know you can kind of trace back to what happened when and what took up the most memory and uh you know it's just a really simple easy way to kind of go through and um uh figure out what's going on with your computer so we're going to go ahead and open this up uh performance recorder we'll get to the analyzer here in a second first we have to make a recording um hmm. that's probably fine um so let's go ahead and get some options here so we've got tons of different things that we can look at here um and so uh we can look at all kinds of activity or whatever um you can go through scenarios um, and you can kind of go through a boot or a shutdown or the reboot cycle um, how do you want to log uh, stuff or different things um, so let's um, uh, just do something like a reboot cycle here um, and let's just do it once for sake of time um, and then I could select, if there was particular things I wanted to look at in here, I could go through and I could select them in these uh, different checkboxes. You know, if I wanted to look specifically at CPU usage or networking or something like that, um, then, you know, we could go ahead and get that uh, information, uh, which would be good. But I'm just going to go ahead and click start. Um, we'll probably just let it uh, there. Uh, something is not right and we'll let it go so now it's gonna reboot and this shouldn't take very long and so uh, what it's going to do is it's just going to record be recording uh, usually specific things that it's looking for and once again we could tell it to do more if we wanted it to um, but so it will probably take a little bit longer on boot if you're doing like a reboot cycle you can do it while your computer's running um, and other things, you know, if you're going to go install an application, you could start it before the install and then, you know, stop it when you're done and kind of see what uh, took the most, you know, energy or effort or whatever. Um, you know, that, and that could be good if you're a developer, maybe, and you're developing an application for Windows and you're kind of like, I wonder how, what, you know, what, what's this going to do to Windows? You can throw it, spin up a VM or something and throw it in at it. Uh, and kind of test and see um, what kind of resources it was using, you know, what point in your program's execution used the most memory or the most resources or the most network activity or, you know, whatever, whatever it might be. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, it's just, just, 
you know, can, it can be nice and it has so many uses and so many potential things that you can do with it. Um, it's just an insanely easy thing to do. Uh, now, I will say that while it's in, you know, for beginners, you can get in here and you can kind of start playing around with this and figuring out what does what and how it works and whatnot, uh, which is fantastic. Um, there's also a lot more in-depth and advanced technical analysis that you can do with the recorder and the analyzing, um, which allows you to, you, you can really dig in-depth into what your system's doing. So we're going to go ahead and log in here. Um, let's see here. I think that was it. Um, and so it's probably still going through that whole boot trace thing. So it'll take you through the login and into loading everything in the desktop generally, um, with this particular profile. Um, so we'll give it another second or two here and it should pop up a little window saying, okay, we're done. Woohoo. We're saving a file for you. Uh, which is all, you know, nice and fancy like, but anyways, so yeah, you can do as shallow or as deep analysis as you want to on your system. Um, so generally, uh, what I would do is, uh, I, you know, w one thing I recommend doing is getting to know your system, how it runs, how long it takes to do certain tasks like booting and logging in and starting up programs and stuff like that, and kind of pay attention to, you know, hints like that, that your computer's trying to tell you something, you know, when it starts slowing down or something doesn't just, you know, seems a little bit off or something's not loading properly. Um, then you might want to just take a look in to a little bit more as to what, you know, in the world's going on. And, you know, you can kind of do that. And I've kind of explained how to do that in past videos with, um, uh, you know, um, different things like, um, uh, using services and PowerShell and task manager and, um, you know, all these different tools and stuff like that you can use to look at stuff on demand, but most of that's, you know, looking at it as of the moment or kind of going in and doing some troubleshooting yourself. Whereas this, it records the entire thing. And that includes the entire brute process from the little spinny circular thing that comes up on the screen all the way to through me logging in and opening things up and uh, getting stuff set up here. Um, so it, it's just really, really fantastic because it allows you to do that in-depth analysis that you don't get from utilities like uh, uh, Task Manager. Yeah, I couldn't think of that. <laughs> um, but so anyways, we're going to go take a look. So the kind of a file that this saves, um, if we go look at our documents and where it was saved, um, I guess it's still saving. It's going to take a second. We, uh, but anyways, so it, it saves it in a dot in a file that can be read by the Windows Performance Analyzer. So let's go ahead and open that up. Windows Performance Analyzer. There we go. Um, and this allows us to take this file that we save from our performance recorder um, and analyze them. Yeah. We can go ahead and start taking a look at some of what this is going to give us. So, uh, there's a couple different things, you know, uh, you can drop down some menus here and kind of browse through some of their information on how to use their utility, which is fantastic. Uh, just kind of show you what a nice utility this is to use. Um, and, you know, they'll give you decent information as to how to get started in it, you know, if you prefer reading to watching my videos, which is fine. Um... But anyway, so now we're saving the file, and let's go ahead and open it. So we're going to go File, and then Open. Um, and as soon as it's done saving, uh, it should pop up right here. Yep, there we go. I think it's done. Looks like it might not quite be done yet. Um, but then, so if you're going to do a bunch of these, you know, this little description right here can be useful because then you can kind of uh, state, you know, here's what I think was going on. Here's what I found in my analyzing. You know, here's what I was able to discover, figure out or whatever. Uh, so if you're doing a lot of recordings, then, you know, that's going to prove more useful than not. Um, but that's pretty much it for the performance recorder. Um, so now that that's done, so it's going to just doing tons of stuff here. 
um, and the data that this captures or can capture is incredible. And so um, you can really slow down your system as well if you're going to do this. So if you try to run this and it's really slowing down your system and you're kind of like, why is my system going so slow? Then it's um, because, most likely because I'm, um, uh, um, of, uh, so let's go ahead and open that. Uh, the fact that this just takes forever to do it, especially if you're checking lots of parameters, if you're checking CPU usage and networking and uh, memory handling and applications and processes and services and everything, you know, then it's just going to take forever. Uh, but you, so you should expect that, expect that, especially if you have it to go through three iterations. So it's going to reboot three times. You might want to give it a couple hours or something and sit there and just let it go through its thing. But so here we go. Here's our different things. Um, so I just got um, basic stuff here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and you're just going to notice that there's just tons of stuff in here as I drop that down. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, drag it over here. Um, hello, drop. I don't know why it's running slow today. It's either because I'm running it or because of something it means I need to be running it. But anyways, so what you do is you take the data on the left hand side and you kind of drag it over how you want to see it onto the right hand side. And you can do this for all kinds of different data on the left hand side here. Um, and you can um, take the different kinds of data and you can stack them up on top of each other. And I'd show you how to do this if this thing would load. but. Um, anyways, so, and what you can do then is you can kind of filter down by time. So you can see things as they happen sequentially throughout the boot process. So, um, as soon as this loads, I'll show you, I suppose. Um, but so it's, you're going to see different markers for different activities that have occurred. And then we're going to be able to go through and see, okay, this process started here. And this is when my CPU also spiked and my memory spiked and some other stuff happened. And you can kind of go, wow, look at that. You know, this is probably what's going on here. Um, so then we can take something like, uh, computation and we can drop that out here too. Um, and generally, if you've got more applications running, and like I really don't have hardly anything running right now, um, mostly because uh, um, I really this is a fresh install of Windows, so there's not really a ton running. Uh, but you're gonna see here, and so now when I move my mouse around, you kind of see this bar that kind of appears in both top and bottom, uh, and we can kind of use this to kind of analyze some different stuff here. Um, so this is UI delays, but this isn't really going to be super useful to us. But if we take our CPU usage, um, and then maybe we go down to memory, um, and let's just go to memory utilization and drop this into here. Uh, our memory kind of like went down, so you can kind of see, we, so let's go ahead and zoom into this beginning part right here. And so we can kind of select into here, um, and then kind of, so you can kind of select stuff and do different things. And so if I highlight something on here, you'll notice it'll highlight stuff over here. So I can like take a couple of these or something and it'll take down to the specific sections inside of here. Um, so it's really, really cool and really neat as to how this works. Uh, but let's go ahead and highlight this and see if we can uh, zoom in or something. Uh, let's see here. That's not the zoom. Zoom in. Uh, let's zoom to this section, so blue. that's a nice big purple splotch. Um, so now we've got a little bit more in-depth into what's going on here, and um, aha, even better. So let's go ahead and take this part right here and zoom into this section. And so now that we've got all this stuff right here, uh, we can kind of see as, you know, our processes are colored, so we can kind of follow that. So it looks like this one right here, if I, so if I select on different things, you're going to notice there's little blue bars that are selected here and there to kind of show when it was running and when it wasn't. So this little purple one right here, WMIPRVSE.exe, you can kind of see it's got some different things here. So maybe, you know, I want to see maybe like, look, there's a little bit, here's a little bit of a spike in memory right there. This is kind of interesting. So I can, I, let's zoom in on this part right here. Um, and take a little bit look into what happened here. Um, here once again is our spike. It looks like we're narrowing it down a little bit more. Um, this isn't even much of a spike, you know. We're going from um, 3.4 megabytes to about 
3.9 megabytes. But, you know, if we kind of look at this right here as to what's going on, it looks like we've got this blue process, vmtoolsd.exe, which is probably my VMware tools that I'm running. But anyways, uh, this is kind of how it works. You guys can have some more fun with this. I can do more videos on if you want later on. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.